Hello and welcome to Pilates with Brooke. If you have chosen this video today, it means that you're new to Pilates, so I do want to let you know that you're in the right place. Enjoy the workout, do the best that you can, and remember to subscribe if you do like it so that you will have notifications on when my next workouts begin. So we're going to turn lengthwise onto our mat and we're going to round ourselves all the way onto the floor. First, to do that, we're going to sit nice and tall with our knees bent, legs hugged together, hands behind the thighs. You're going to inhale through the nose, into the chest, drawing the tummy in and up, really stacking the vertebrae up and pulling the shoulders down the back. And then on the exhale, you're going to tuck your chin, you're going to round your spine, and you're going to slowly roll yourself all the way down to the ground with control. Once you're down, you're gonna inch your body and your heels a little bit closer towards each other. We're finding a neutral pelvis, meaning that lower spine is slightly arched up. If you place the heel of your hand on your hip bones and stack your fingertips together over your pubic bone, your hand should be perfectly parallel to the floor. After that, you're gonna reach your arms long by your side, head looks to the sky. Slide your head away from your shoulders Dig your arms and lift your upper back up, pinch the shoulder blades together, and settle them back down for a nice, strong shoulder girdle position. In this neutral pelvis, you're going to inhale for me, and then exhale, rock the pelvis to push the lower back firmly into the ground into what is known as imprinting. Squeeze that tummy in tight, try not to squeeze your bottom. On the inhale, let that tailbone come back down to the ground, the lower spine arches up, rib cage stays closed in. One more time, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, rock the pelvis, push the lower back firmly into the mat, and then inhale, come back to that neutral pelvis. So you should be able to slide a finger or two, maybe even your whole hand underneath that lower spine. Now, actively reach your arms by your side, fingertips to the, uh, reaching towards the shins. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna curl our head and chest up now. So your pelvis stays in that neutral position. You have about a fist width between your chin and your collarbone, and you wanna try and get your shoulder blades off of the mat. So you really curl up. If it bothers your neck, you can always place a hand behind the head to give it support. Now, pulling your belly button in, lengthening those arms long, we're going to get in pumping our arms. So just moving them from the shoulders, holding the body nice and still. You're going to inhale for a count of five. Exhale for a count of five. Inhale. Exhale. Curl up a little higher. Let's do two more sets. Keep those arms pump and warm in the body up. Inhale again. And exhale. And lower everything down to rest. So that's a little taste of the 100 movements. So we're going to go into the full 100 now. But we're going to bring our knees first into a tabletop position. So you're going to bring one knee up, knee directly over the hip, and then the other knee. I want you to squeeze those inner thighs together. With the knees directly over the hips, that lower spine is slightly lifted up. You still need to pull the tummy in tight in that neutral position. You're gonna reach the arms long by your side again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, curl your head and chest up, keeping the knees directly over the hips. Begin pulsing those arms again. Inhale. And exhale. Curl up a little higher, inhale. And exhale. Good. Almost there. Now straighten the legs up to the sky if you can. Keep those arms pulsing. Four more sets. Curl up a little higher. Last two. Last one. Squeeze that tummy a little tighter. And now hold. Curl up a little higher. Reach the rib cage to the hips. Bend your knees and lower your head and chest down. Hug the knees into your chest, beautiful work. Take your hands behind your thighs. We're gonna go into rolling like a ball. If you have any vertebrae issues, then we're just gonna start with a modification, which we're gonna do first. So you're gonna tuck your chin in, you're gonna let the legs be free. You're going to inhale 
and then exhale. Just give yourself a little rock, little rock. Rocking along the vertebrae. See if you can come up a little higher. Good. Having a little fun with it. Making sure you don't roll onto your neck, only to the shoulder blades. And now we're going to come up to balance. So just come up, see if you can balance. Good. And now tuck the chin and rock yourself back again. Exhale, come up and balance. Try not to touch your toes onto the ground two more times. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, balance. One more, scooping that tummy in tight. Pull the belly button in right here and let the feet come back down. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to go into our C curve. We did a little bit at the very beginning, so we're just going to go back into that. Legs hug together, okay? I really want you to sit tall and pull the shoulders down, pull the tummy in and up, holding onto the back of the thighs. Inhale, and then exhale, scoop the tummy in and roll part way back. So you're just holding on here. I want you to think of tucking the tailbone towards the back of the thighs, really pinching the rib cage and the hip together, the belly button pulling in tight, shoulders pull down. Now inhale, come all the way over the hips and then stack the vertebrae back up. Again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, scoop it in and round it back. Squeeze the belly button in. Now release your right arm. Now release your left arm and hold. Really hug it. You want to think of a girdle tightening around the waistline and that belly button pulling in tight to the spine. And now grab on and pull yourself all the way up. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale tall. Exhale, holding on as you scoop and round back. Good. And now left arm lifts, hold, squeeze the tummy tight. And then the right arm and hold, pull that tummy in tight. If it bothers your back, come up a little bit. Really squeeze into the front body. Good. Three, two, one. Grab on and round yourself all the way up. Now we're going to go back with a straight spine. So still holding onto the back of the thighs. You're going to sit nice and tall, pulling the shoulders down the back, squeezing the tummy in. You're going to pivot from the hip and just lean back. So what you're doing here is you're making certain that the spine is long. Think of the crown or the top of the head lengthening out, tailbone pressing in, everything hugging in to hold yourself in position. Making sure also that the back does not arch. Scoop that tummy in long spine and bring yourself all the way back up. Again, inhale, pivot back with that straight spine, shoulders down the back, squeeze that tummy in tight, lengthen that spine long, hug the girdle in, release both arms and hold. Good, squeeze the lower abdominal area in especially, those are your transverse abdominals. Hug that rib cage to the midline. And now pivot yourself all the way up, open your knees and just stretch your spine forward. Beautiful work. And now come on up, lengthen your legs out, okay? I want your feet about hip bone width apart, maybe just a little bit wider. We're gonna do spine stretch. So <clears throat> really sitting tall, you should feel your sit bones, your issue of tuberosity, really dig into the ground. Hugging the abdominals in and extending the arms out in front of you. Pinch the shoulder blades together and flex your feet. If you're unable to stand really tall or sit really tall here because your hamstrings, the back of your legs are super tight, then just soften your knees a little bit. Good. From here, inhale to grow tall, scoop the tummy in. Exhale, you're going to tuck the chin in. Imagine a big ball on your thighs, round up and over the ball. So we're not stretching our hamstrings here. We're not trying to touch our toes. We're trying to reach across the room Pull the belly button in and away from that ball and round the spine up and over it. And now inhale, you're going to stack the vertebrae up as if you're sitting up against a wall. So you can't push into that wall. Again, inhale, think of sliding the vertebrae up the wall. And then exhale, reach across the room and pull that belly button in. It is work. Flex those feet. Push those heels out and away. Inhale, stack the vertebrae up. Two more times. Exhale, reach. Inhale, stack, come up. Exhale to prepare. Inhale, tall. Exhale, reach. Squeeze that belly button in. And inhale, tall. And exhale, relax it down. Beautiful. Now we're going to bring our legs together. We're going to go into a roll down 
and then roll up. And I'm going to give you a modification if you have a hard time coming back up. Legs are squeezed together, either flexed or your, or your toes are pointed. Extend the arms out, pull the tummy in. Inhale. And now exhale, we're going to round ourselves back, just like we were doing in the C curve, except we're coming all the way down with control. So if you found that you just kind of flopped down, then what you're going to do is you're going to bend your knees and use your hands, okay? So we're going to try and come up first without the hands, and then I'll show you the modification. So from here, you're laying flat on your back. Legs are still glued together and active. Squeeze the inner thighs together. You are going to close your rib cage in, okay? So the rib cage, especially when we reach the arms overhead, is going to want to pop open, and that middle back is going to want to lift up. What your job is, is to limit that movement and not let the arm go quite as far all the way to the ground, okay? So you wanna think of the rib cage reaching to the pelvis as the arm reaches overhead in opposition, and then you hug the abdominals in. Inhale here, exhale, we're gonna curl the head and chest up, reach for the toes and peel ourselves off the ground. So if you found oh, that ain't gonna happen, well, we're gonna show, or I'm gonna show you your modification. So come back down, good. Bend your right knee. So if you had a hard time, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna bend your right knee to tabletop. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, curl up, grab onto that leg, kick the leg out to help you up, and then come all the way back up. Inhale, tall. Exhale, spine stretch. So now you're going to reach the arms across the room. Hug the abdominals in tight. Inhale, stack the vertebrae up. And now exhale, tuck the tailbone. Good. And slowly roll down. Once again, if you had a hard time, bend those legs, grab on, and let yourself slowly come down. Over time, you'll get stronger. It'll become easier. Let's do the left leg now. Knee is bent. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, curl up, kick it out, pull that tummy in tight as you bring yourself all the way up, sit tall, inhale, exhale, spine stretch, and inhale, come up, and exhale, round it all the way down, good. So if that was too challenging, even with grabbing onto the leg, bend both knees. So we're going to do this all together now. So knees are bent, make sure your feet are not close to your bottom. Lengthen them out and away from you until the toes feel like they want to lift. And then squeeze those inner thighs in. Close the rib cage in. Inhale, reach the arms a little bit overhead, making sure you don't pop the rib cage open. And now exhale, curl the head and chest up, grow out to your thighs, and pull yourself up. So it's kind of a crutch, but at least it starts getting those muscles engaged a little bit. So the more that you practice, and the less you have to grab on, the stronger you're going to get. Beautiful. All right, so that was roll up. Come all the way down. All the way down. We're going to go into single leg circles. So the focus on single leg circles is lengthening the muscles, working within the hip joint and quad, but also helping to stabilize the pelvis. Arms come long by your side. We're going to keep our knees bent, feet on the floor to begin with. Shoulder blades pinched together, neutral pelvis, so that lower spine slightly lifted up, tailbone and sacrum are grounded. Inhale, exhale, bring your right leg up. Okay, so my foot's a little bit out of the picture, but I have my toes pointed. My leg is going to be soft to begin with. This is a modified version of a single leg arm, leg circle. So from here, you're going to cross your right leg over your left hip, and then you're going to draw a circle with that right toe, bringing it up and around, and then starting right back where you began, or finishing right back where you started. Ready? Inhale, cross over the left hip, keeping the right hip grounded. Circle it around, pull that tummy in tight. Exhale, up and around. One more time like this. Inhale, cross over. Exhale, coming only about six inches to either side of your body. Now we're gonna reverse it. Open slightly to the right. Keep the pelvis nice and parallel, stable to the ground. Circle it down, cross it over, bring it up, and reach it. Two more times like that. Inhale as you come down. Exhale. Pull it back up. One more. And now bend that knee into your chest. So now we're going to go into the full leg circle. So if that wasn't challenging enough, 
you're gonna prog or, uh, transition to this next move. If it was enough, then you're gonna stick with it. Lengthen your left leg long onto the floor. Reach your right leg up to the sky, holding on behind that leg just for a second. So from here, if you're already, when you let go of that leg, if it drops down here, then you need to, you know you need to go back into your bent knee position, okay? You want that knee over the hip from start to finish. Lengthen, when you're ready, pull the tummy in, arms long by your side. Inhale, cross the leg over the left hip, keep the right hip grounded, pull the tummy in tighter as you circle it around, bring it up and reach it. Good, two more this direction, inhale. Exhale, reach it, squeeze that quad, one more. Inhale, pull that tummy in tight. Exhale it up, and now reverse it. Open slightly to the right, cross it down, bring it up and over, good. And again, lower and lift one more time here. And bend that knee into your chest, good. And then bring the foot flat onto the floor. Both feet again, slide the feet away from you until those toes wanna to lift, arms long by your side. Left knee comes in. Go ahead, give it a little bit of a reach, but keep the knee soft for your modified version. Inhale, cross to the right. Draw a circle, hug the abdominals in, bring that leg up and back to where you started. Again, inhale. One more this direction. And now reverse it to the left. Circle around, exhale it up. Two more. Back of the neck is long. Shoulder blades are pinched together. Last one here. And now bend the knee into your chest. Lengthen the right leg long. Lengthen the left leg up, holding on to it with your leg, with your hands for a little stretch. Now fire into the front of that thigh. Pull that belly button in. Release. Once again, if that leg drops down and you're trying to do your circles from here, you're missing the point. I'd rather you soften the knees and keep the leg over the hip. Ready? Right leg, excuse me, left leg crosses over the right hip and circles around for three, two, one, reverse it, open to the left, exhale, bring it up and around, two more. Last one here, and bend the knee into your chest, very good job. Bring your other knee up as well. We're gonna go into our single leg stretch. So with those knees tucked in, take an inhale. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. So your eyes are looking to the tops of your knees, okay? Really lifting up as high as you can. You're going to reach the arms along by your ankles. I want you to take your right leg now and just straighten it up to the sky. Maybe a little bit away. Take your right hand across to that left knee. Now try and curl up a little bit higher. And then you're just gonna switch legs. So you're gonna bend the right knee, straighten the left, bring the left hand across to that right, and then go ahead and switch. Pulling that tummy in tight and switch. Two more each leg. Nice. One more each leg. And now bend the knees and let the head come down to rest. Good, so now we're gonna lower the legs. Do a set where the legs reach out to 45 degrees. Makes it a little more challenging for the core. Good, take a deep inhale. Exhale, curl your head and chest up. Good, reach the right leg long. Take your right hand across, curl up a little bit higher. Fire that leg up. Think of pushing your big toe into a doorbell. You wanna put some fire into it. Curl up a little higher. Hug this knee into the midline of the body. And now switch legs and switch. If your head starts to bother you, your neck starts to bother you, keep those legs moving, and you wanna bring your head down, that's totally fine. Just make sure the legs come up higher to the sky and that back stays firmly pressed into the mat and then try and come back up. We have two more each leg. One more each leg, you got it. Last one, and bend the knees into your chest. Beautiful. Rock your head side to side. Now we're gonna go into the double leg stretch. You're gonna reach your arms. We're doing a modified one to begin with, okay? Pull the tummy in, we're gonna keep our head down. Inhale, 
extend your legs out at a little bit of an angle so they can come straight up to the ceiling. If you have a hard time keeping your back flat against the mat, you can bring them straight up. Otherwise, I want them just a little bit of an angle out. Really hug the abdominals in to flatten that back against the mat and then exhale, bend the knees back into your chest. Again, inhale, extend out, squeeze the inner thighs, pull that tummy in tight at the back lifts, bring the legs up higher to the sky and bend it in. One more time here. Inhale, extend, squeeze that tummy in tight and exhale, bring it in. Now we're gonna curl our head and chest up. Inhale, exhale, curl up. It's gonna be easier to get the legs out lower. Ready? Inhale, extend, squeeze, exhale, bend them back in. Good, two more times. Inhale, extend, pull that tummy tight so you can curl up a little higher. Exhale, bend it back in. Last one here. And let the head come down. Good, as you progress, you'll start adding in the arm movements. But for our purposes today, we're leaving the arms out of that equation. Good, so you'll find on some of these exercises, inhaling into the chest and not into the belly is really hard. But that's the whole intention of Pilates, is that you have to pull the belly button in. Take that little quick breath without letting the belly expand, okay? So now we're gonna go into crisscross. We're gonna bring our feet flat onto the ground to begin with. You're gonna take your fingertips and you're gonna cradle your head with them with the elbows open wide. I want you to squeeze your inner thighs together, neutral pelvis, inhale. And now exhale, just curl the head and chest up. Good, belly button is drawn in tight. Inhale here, curl up a little higher. And now exhale, you're going to twist your chest up and across towards that right side. So you're gonna feel it into the right oblique waistline area. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, twist to the left side, lifting that chest up and across. Inhale, back through center to the right. Inhale through center, keep the pelvis nice and stable and lift up to the left. One more time each side. And now come back through center and lower the head down. Beautiful. Now bring one knee up into tabletop and then the other knee. Squeeze the inner thighs together and cradle the head again. Inhale, exhale, curl your head and chest up. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center, stay up high. Exhale to the left. Back through center to the right. Last one here. And now come back through center and lower the head in. Let the legs come in. So now we're gonna add the leg movements, okay? So our single leg stretch prepared us for what we're about to do. Once again, fingertips cradle the head. Inhale, knees to the chest. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Good. Lengthen your right leg out. Put some fire into it. You can also bring the leg up if you can't get it out like that. Now take your right chest up and across towards that left knee. That left knee is hugged into the midline. And now switch. And switch. So when you're switching side to side, be certain that you don't lower down and then come back up. You want to be up the whole time. If it's too much, you can always let the leg kick to the sky. You can also always bring those feet into tabletop or let them come to the ground. Two more each side. Good. One more each side. Pull that tummy in tight. And let the head come down to rest. Beautiful. Let's bring those feet flat to the floor. Good. Arms long by your side. Feet are close towards your bottom. Making a double upside down V with those legs. Feet are also hip bone width apart. Arms long by your side, shoulder blades are pinched together. Inhale, exhale, you're going to rock the pelvis. So the lower back firmly presses in, pull the tummy in, push your feet firmly into the ground and peel your hips up to the sky for our bridge. One vertebrae at a time. Once you come up, you're gonna think about that tailbone tucking towards the back of the thighs. You're squeezing into the glute max. You are pressing your feet equally into the mat. 
Your eyes are to the sky. There's nothing under your head. Your shoulders are what are supporting your back right now. Take another inhale here. And now exhale, you're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time. Slowly pressing each vertebrae into the ground. That tailbone resists coming down until it is forced to come all the way back to neutral pelvis. Inhale again for me. Exhale, rock the pelvis, push the lower back in, imprint it, squeeze the bottom, and peel your hips back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly roll down, one vertebrae at a time. Good, creating space in between the vertebrae, pressing them down, one more. Inhale, and rock that pelvis. Peel yourself all the way up. Inhale at the top. And round it on down. Beautiful. And now, from your neutral pelvis, bring one knee, grabbing onto it, and then the other knee. Good. We're going to go into a double leg lower lift. Okay? So this is where you really have to learn to pull the belly button in on that inhale, the area just below your belly button, your transverse abdominals. So we're going to start with knees and tabletop. Good. Legs squeezed together. Arms reach long by your side. Inhale. Exhale, curl your head and chest up. So if your neck starts to bother, you can always take a hand to support you. From here, hinging from the hip, pulling the belly button in. Inhale, let the toes come down towards the ground just a little bit. So notice, I'm not bending the knees to bring the toes down. They're staying in tabletop. And now exhale, bring those legs back up. So the goal here is to keep the belly button in. Curl up a little higher. Inhale, lower, hinging from the hips, scoop the tummy in. Exhale, bring them back up. Two more times. You can bring the hands behind the head for support if you want. Inhale, squeeze the belly button in. Exhale, bring it back up. Last one here. Inhale, squeeze those inner thighs together. Pull that tummy in tight. Exhale, bring it up. Let the head come down. Hug the knees into your chest. Beautiful. So the purpose is to keep that back firmly pressed into the mat. If you lower the legs too much and that lower back arches up, you're not controlling through the core. You're controlling it or you're letting that lower back do too much movement. You want to keep that imprint the whole time. Okay, now for the full one, and then we'll roll onto our sides. Let's go with the, heads cradling, the hands cradling the head. Knees and tabletop to begin with. Inhale. Exhale, curl the head, chest up. And now lengthen your legs up. Even if your knees are slightly bent, that's okay. Reach them up. Curl up a little higher. Inhale, lengthen the legs just a little bit away, pulling the tummy in, flattening the back. Exhale, bring the legs up. Good. Curl up a little higher. Inhale, reach the legs away. Pull that tummy in tight. It's a small movement. Exhale, bring it up. Three more. Pull the tummy in. Lift them up. Two more. Pull the tummy in. And exhale it up. Last one. Inhale, back stays flat. Pull that tummy tight. And exhale it up. And bend the knees into your chest. Beautiful job. Gently rock side to side. Good, we're almost done. <clears throat> so, bring your feet to the floor. Take the arm that's closest to the screen. Bring it up by your head and just roll onto your side. Okay, so side laying, leg kicks. Nice and easy, okay? So we're gonna stack ourselves up. Body is nice and long. If you shot an arrow through this one hip, it would come out the exact same spot on the other. Take your hand, grab onto your hip, lift your top leg up, and then kind of push that hip away, okay? So you're gonna feel that waistline lift just a little bit off the ground. Squeeze the belly button in, feet are flexed, toes straight forward. Bring that top hand to your ear. Unless you need help with balance, then the hand comes down to the ground. Small circles of that leg for 10, pushing through that heel, nine. It's nice and controlled, seven, Good. Four, pull the tummy in. Two, reverse it. Reach it, reach it. Foot is flexed. Seven, pull the tummy tight. Six, five, four, two. And now pulse the leg up and down. Little movements, okay? Really fire into the quad. Reach the leg long. Good. And now pause. Turn your toes down to the ground, tap the toe in front, lift the leg, bring the heel behind and tap for two. 
lift the leg, internal rotate, tap the big toe, lift it, heel, tap, lift it, toe, tap, heel, tap. Three more, this is hot potato. Last one, tap, tap and lift, tap, tap and let that leg rest, beautiful. Bend your knees in, gently press yourself up. Flip your legs and come to lay all the way on the other side. Good, so stacking yourself up. Good, head is resting, neck is long. Take your top hand, place it on your hip, lift your top leg. Lengthen the leg long. Put some fire into that leg and give me small circles for 10, eight. Body should not move, seven. Let's make sure the toes are straight forward. Two, one and reverse it. Good, push through that heel, lengthen that leg long. Keep the body nice and still as that leg rotates within that hip joint and now pulse it up and down. Little pulses, good. Good. Close the rib cage in. Make sure those toes are straight forward. And now we go into our hot potato. Pause. Internal rotation of that femur. Tap the big toe. Lift it. External rotation. Tap the heel. Toe, toe. Heel, heel. Toe, toe. Heel, heel. Four more. Good. Last two. Tap, tap. Last one. You got this. And let the leg rest. Beautiful. Bend the knee into your chest. Let's lift yourself up onto your hands and knees. Good. We're almost done. We're going to do a little cat cow. We're going to practice a plank, a knee plank, and then we're going to go back extension work, and then we'll be done. So, Hands directly below the shoulders, knees directly below the hips, toenails flat onto the floor, eyes looking straight down to the mat. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, pull the tummy in, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna tuck the tailbone, push the floor away, tuck the chin in and round the spine up as best you can, really hugging the abdominals in tight. And then on the inhale, you're gonna begin lifting the tailbone and then lifting the head up out of the shoulders. So arching through that spine. Think of the back of the head and the tailbone trying to come towards one another. And then exhale, rock the pelvis, tucking that tailbone, pulling that tummy in tight, and then tucking the chin in, actively pressing the top of the feet into the ground and pushing the floor away. And then inhale, tailbone lifts, head lifts up out of those shoulders. Good, really open through that chest, lifting the heart. And then come back to your neutral pelvis. I want you to walk your hands about a foot in front of you, shift forward, and find a knee plank. So when you're in a knee plank, you want to think of your body being in a straight line between the shoulders, the hips, and the knees. Make sure the lower back does not arch, so you're not sticking your tailbone up. If you feel a lot of arching in the back, I want you to think of tucking the tailbone, that imprinting of the lower spine. So tailbone reaches to the back of the thighs. And we're just holding here, really squeezing that tummy in tight. Good, good. Just about 10 more seconds here. Pull that tummy in, lengthen that spine long. Make sure you're not sagging through the hips. You find that fine line. And then gently press yourself back, bringing the hips to the heels. Beautiful. And now we're gonna shift forward and you're gonna come onto your forearms. So we're gonna find the same position, just a little bit more intense when we're in a forearm plank. So you can have your hands either separated or bring the palms together. Lining the shoulders up with the elbows, walking the knees away from you until you once again find that straight line at a different angle though, between the shoulders, the hips, and the knees. Once again, tucking the tailbone. So no sagging, this is not a plank, okay? And if you're up here, you're not gonna feel it a whole lot. So really tuck the tailbone, hug the abdominals in, and we hold for about 10 more seconds here. Squeeze that tummy in tight, good. 
So the more you pull the area in, in between your hip bones, just below your belly button, the more you're gonna engage those transverse abdominals. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And now if your hands are interlaced, separate them. Gently start walking your hands in as you bring the hips back to the heels and stretch the spine. Good. So that is the most basic plank. And then we progress as you move along up into higher ones. So we're gonna shift all the way forward. We're gonna lay onto our stomachs. So our back muscles are part of our core. They're just as important as the front ones. The problem is, is that because if you're transverse, rectus abdominis and obliques are weak, your back muscles are gonna do a lot more firing. So if you have a really tight back, it's probably because it does all the work. We still need to engage it though, okay? In, in the proper way, which is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go into a little bit of back extension work. So your forehead is gonna come onto the ground and you're gonna lengthen your arms out wide to a T, okay? So straight out from the shoulders, fingertips are T cupped onto the ground. Your legs are parallel, toenails flat on the ground. I want you to push your hips into the mat by really squeezing into your bottom. Then you're going to pull your belly button in and up off of the floor. It's not going to actually lift up off the floor, but you still want to engage it. And then all I want you to do from here is just lift your head and chest a little bit off the ground. So you're looking straight down. You're going to feel this into the back, okay? All the muscles that run along your vertebrae, we are engaging those to, to really, really strengthen them in the proper way. And now lower the forehead back down to rest. We're going to do that one more time. Once again, squeeze the bum, tuck the tailbone, lengthen into the back of that lower spine, especially the lumbar, pull the tummy in, and then inhale, lift, and hold. Make sure the tops of the feet are firmly pressed into the ground, the shoulders are away from the ears, and now lower yourself down. Now adding on, I want you to reach your arms up like you're a bird, making that T, fingertips reaching long off of the ground. Pull that tummy in, press the pelvis into the mat, and then inhale, lift the head and chest. You may not be able to come up as high, that's okay. Push the tops of your feet firmly into the ground. Squeeze that belly button in and up, and then lower everything down to rest. Good, one more time like that. Pull that tummy in, squeeze the bottom, inhale, lift everything up. Good, breathe, small little breath, see if you can lift a little higher. Now, lower everything down. Forehead rests on the mat. Bring your arms next to your side with the palms up to the sky. Good. So they're resting on the ground right now. So if you're looking towards your chest and you're letting those shoulders roll forward, you're going to see the front of your shoulders. I want you now to lift those shoulders and lift the hands up so you can no longer see them. They're really pinching the shoulder blades together. And those arms are reaching towards the toes and up to the sky. So you're squeezing into the triceps, the back of the arms. Now, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the bottom, pull the tummy in, lift your head and chest. Good. And now lower just the head and chest, keep the arms up and active one more time. Inhale, lift, squeeze that pelvis into the ground and lower back down. We're gonna add on this next one. Inhale, lift the head and chest. Now, squeeze your bottom and lift your legs. God, everything in the back body is working right now. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold for five. See if you can lift the head and chest a little higher. Squeeze that bottom and lower everything down. Fabulous work. Bring the hands next to your chest. Dig your knees and lift your hips up and push yourself back. You're going to open your knees wide, bringing your big toes together. And I want you to come into your wisdom pose. So with those knees open wide, you're able to let the chest soften towards the ground. Beautiful. And you can gently rock side to side. Just loosen everything up. Got it. And then slide the hands by your knees. Gently lift yourself up. And we are all done. Very good job. So there was your beginner intro to Pilates. Hopefully you felt some action happening in the abdominals and that you want to come back for more. So please do. I hope to see you again here soon. And feel free to comment. I would love to hear how you liked the workout or if there's anything else you would like me to include in future workouts. Have a wonderful day.